ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಸೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೃಷಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ವಿತ್ ಯು ಎಟ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ವಿತ್ ಎನ್ ಅನದರ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ವಿಡಿಯೋ ಆನ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ಲಡ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಡ್ಯಾಮೇಜ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಬ್ರಾಡ್ಬೆಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅವರ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಕ್ಲೈಮೇಟ್ ರೆಸಿಲಿಯೆಂಟ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ದಿಸ್ ಬ್ರಾಡ್ಬೆಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅವರ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಟು ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ ಫ್ಲಡ್ ಪ್ಲೇನ್ಸ್ ವೆಟ್ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಗ್ನೆಂಟ್ ಮಾರ್ಷಿ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಎವರ್ ಈಸ್ ಪ್ರೋನ್ ಟು ಫ್ಲಡ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರೀಮ್ ಈವೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರೈನ್ಫಾಲ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಯರ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ಲಿ ದಿ ಇಯರ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ರಿಮೈಂಡರ್ ಟು ದಿ ಕ್ರಾನಿಕ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಫ್ಲಡ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಗ್ನೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಅಗ್ರಿಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಕಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಡಿವ್ಯಾಸ್ಟೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಡ್ಯಾಮೇಜ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ರಾಫ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ರಿಕರಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಚೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಲೈಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಸಿನೇರಿಯೋ ಆಫ್ ಟುಡೇ we need to provide a sustainable solution to the farmers to face and manage this chronic excess water situation many per- permanent water stagnation marshes are wasted which otherwise could be very effectively utilized in fact the broadbed broad furrow system which is popularly known as bbf technology was developed way back in 1999 in Central Agriculture Research Institute in Andaman Islands. This was developed to grow vegetables and fodder in rice fields during monsoon because of lack of availability of plain land for cultivation of vegetables. This remained under cold storage for a long time. Hence, we are coming before farmers through this video to provide an ecologically sustainable permanent solution to such untimely rains and water stagnation problems during monsoon period and permanent water stagnation area which is otherwise wasted today. Let us see what are these problems in high rainfall areas in plain land. almost each year seasonal floods in every part of plain area causing innumerable gloom to the farmers living in those flood plains crop loss to the farmers due to water stagnation and disease is unimaginable large area under chronic stagnant water is being wasted in many parts of the country in some places damage by the pests like snails african giant african snails slugs and other pests like rats and rodents are very serious being nocturnal in habit and under heavy rainfall control of these snails rats and rabbits and slugs is a practical impossibility without causing serious environmental damage the flooded soils are infested with wilt causing bacterial pathogen and hence most crops are prone to bacterial or fungal wilts on these flooded soils many crops do not have wilt resistant varieties one of the possible solution to this is to manipulate the land itself in flood prone fields and to facilitate cultivation despite continuous rains and flooding during extreme events or in normal years the broad bed and broad furrow popularly known as bbf technology developed by central agriculture research institute in andaman is a technique for flood prone fields throughout the year and can be adapted throughout the country wherever the problem persists This system also manages salinity and water harvesting in broadbed furrows for dry season crop production. This system helps the farmers to include various integrated farming systems components like fish rearing in furrows, fodder crop on the beds which in turn helps to include animal component in the integrated farming system. Interestingly, the system offers a natural control for african snails slugs and pests of such nature they are nocturnal pests as they do not move towards standing water in the night time it is an ecological model 
which reduces soil and nutrient losses to a great extent. If the system is adopted in rice belts across the country, it offers an effective way to diversify the cropping system in rice belts. Let us see how this broadbed furrow is actually made in the field. Broadbed furrow is made by cut and fill method. It means you are cutting a portion of the land and use the same soil to fill, make a bed adjacent to it by cut and fill method. A 6 to 8 meter width long length of the field is cut and filled in a 4 to 6 meter adjacent area in the field. The area so filled is raised and leveled in an inverted trapezium shape. The dimension of width may be adjusted to facilitate tractor operation in both beds and furrows. The edge of the trapezium is stabilized by planting napier grass or any other permanent grass. The furrow area is also leveled. After making the broad bed and furrow, a green manure crop is grown on both bed and furrows for 45 to 50 days and incorporated so that the soil health is improved. The raised bed portion is limed if necessary to a required level so that bacterial wilt and fungal wilt causing organisms are brought to a manageable level. The height of the bed and depth of the furrow may be altered region wise and area wise according to the intensity of rain and the intensity of the problem to cope up with the extent of flooding expected in that particular region. If furrows are made deep, then it is easy to grow for rice crop, rice cum fish or fish farming in furrows depending upon the depth of the furrow made and the period of water available in the furrows. If the depth is only shallow, then any flood tolerant crop can be grown other than rice can also be grown in furrows. The BBF helps farmers to include various integrated farming systems such as fish rearing in the furrows, fodder on the beds and which in turn helps to include animal component in the integrated farming system. Several such inverted trapezium shaped land forms are made in the flood prone fields in the country as we have shown in this video. When we convert one acre of land, we may have to spend around 40,000 rupees per acre. When we do that, we approximately get a four beds and four furrows of 100 meter length. After making, the field stabilizes in one season. The BBF system permits fish rearing in furrows and fodder on the beds, both of which help include animal components in the new system. Therefore, the investment can be recovered in just one year. Further, let us see physical and ecological advantages offered by this broadbed furrow technology. The first and foremost advantage is the land can be utilized for cropping even during extreme rainfall events. Soil erosion is reduced to a minimum as soil, if any lost, is from the bed is deposited in the furrows. Similarly, nutrient leached from the bed portion are utilized by fodder grown on the edges or by the rice crop in the furrows. This BBF technology helps the farmers to include various integrated farming systems like fish rearing in the furrows, fodder on the bed, which in turn includes animal components in the system. Absolute control of African snails, slugs and such kind of nocturnal pests which do not venture into standing water this control is achieved without use of any chemicals by virtue of exploiting their behavior itself. Bacterial and fungal wilt problems which is chronic in flood prone areas is brought under control by liming and use of soil borne disease suppressing biofertilizers. 
we also achieve nutrient use efficiency and productivity in this uh, broadbed furrow system compared to normal system soil loss is reduced water management becomes very easier most importantly the present cropping intensity of 100% to 125% in rice area can be increased to 300% in the beds and 200% in furrows by adopting the broadbed furrow land manipulation it helps farmers effectively and efficiently utilize their resources for profit maximization and finally adoption of broadbed furrow system provides an opportunity for crop diversification in in low lying paddy lands that is very important today with all these advantages the system of broadbed furrow has all the ecological economical and social features to qualify for a sustainable soil management module in flood prone areas and years of extreme events of rains like what happened during the year 2021 even during times of drought wherever rain is received stores uh, received stores better in the furrows assuring a crop in the furrow area in years of excess rain in the dry land furrow water is utilized for life saving irrigation on the beds this system is very economical first year the returns may be less but second year onwards the farmers will be assured of continuous cash flow round the year our experience shows that first year farmers may get around 20000 to 30000 rupees as net income as on today after realizing the broadbed furrow making cost but second year onwards the income flow will be significantly higher varying from 50000 to 75000 per acre if you need any further information you can contact solof krishi or through our phone 9449816282 9449816282 thank you